So welcome to uh, the men's single semi-final after that uh, first men's doubles, exciting men's doubles. We now turn our attention to the men's singles where Lee Dong-kyung of um, Korea is taking on the second seed in this tournament, Toma Junior Popov. So the uh, draw in men's singles saw so seven different nations at the uh, quarterfinal stage. And uh, with uh, four seats left, we started out with six seats as um, they were withdrawn due to uh, the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. In the uh, semi-final, three different nations as it's an all Indonesian affair that's played now on the adjacent court between Rostavito and um, Chico Matoyo. So we're in the bottom half of the draw where um, Lee Dong Kyun yesterday defeated the third seed, Misha Silberman. And Toma Popov eventually etched out Mass Christofferson from uh, Denmark in his um, quarter final. No um, previous head to heads between um, these two players here. Uh, Lee Dong Kyung is um, Hello. Hello. a veteran player, whilst Toma Junior Popov is. Trying to make his name on the uh, Black. world tour. Red. Black. It's red. You receive service. Which side? All right. Have a good match. So um, Popov um, elected to. Uh, he won the coin toss and elected to receive. And uh, luckily enough, Lee Dong Kyung agreed to uh, serve, so that we can get the match started. He also elected to start on the uh, far side of the court. Lee Dong Kyung here is uh, 30 years of age, ranked um, 61 now, but has been ranked as high as um, 16. So he's taking, uh, he's been taking a bit of a hiatus from uh, from uh, badminton. Won the uh, US Open back in uh, 2018 defeating uh, Mark Calcio in um, that final. And um, last year, he only played the Malaysian Masters. So it's his first tournament this year here. This is the road to um, the final, defeating two seats. And um, tall left-hander Dietlo Holm from uh, Denmark. Uh, very dangerous player, but um, Lee Dong Kyung used all his experience. Played in the Rio Olympics, did he? Uh, Dong Kyun lost both matches in the group stage. One to Victor Axelsen. Here is uh, Toma Junior Popov. Tall Frenchman is uh, ranked 43 in the world. Born in uh, Sofia in Bulgaria, but lives in uh, Fossumer, the uh, southern coast of France. Just. Um, West of Marseille. Here's his road to um, the final beat uh, home favorite um, Luis Penalba in the um, first round. Long match there, then another long match in the quarterfinal. A repeat of the final from Orleans Super 100 tournament where Toma Popov also defeated Mass Christofferson to win that um, title. Ready to play. Is our umpire Bert van Horenbeck from uh, Belgium? Kestner. Benedict Kestner is our service judge from Germany. Popov here defeated both. Shrikan Kidambi and Kunlavut Vitisan, the three-time world junior champion on the road to uh, his win in um, Orléans. April played the uh, European Championships and um, I had him down as a favorite to take a medal there, but um, lost in the second round to 
Kalle Koljonen, who took a surprise medal for Finland in uh, those championships. A couple of first round losses this year as well in All England and um, Swiss Open has uh, Toma Popov. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Interesting to see right. here. Lee Dong Kyun, Korea. And on my left, Toma Junior Popov, France. Lee Dong Kyun to serve. Lovell. Play. It's gone long. We can see that um, Lee Dong Kyun is playing with uh, a bandage on his um, right knee and some strapping on his uh, calf there. And I saw him yesterday at the um, dinner buffet and he was um, he was limping quite a bit in my opinion on his uh, right leg back then but um, let's see if it's uh, significant or it was just following uh, treatment that um, he was a little sore in his um, in his knee yesterday Shots already in the uh, second rally of um, the match, and um, I don't know if if Popov. This is also Popov here, and it's also ah. Toma Popov. It's the father of um, playing in the picture. Toma Junior Popov. He's also his coach. I wonder if he's got the um, stamina to um, endure. Oh. Such long rallies, playing two categories in this tournament, and uh, he's One, in the semi-final two. in men's doubles as well with his uh, younger brother, Christo. We saw that he spent a lot of time on court in um, both first and uh, first round and quarterfinals here, so it's going to be interesting to see. We know that he's got. An amazing attack, the Frenchman. Three, one. Who is the first non-Dane to win the team, the men's single and the men's doubles at the European Championships in the same year? So we've been alert to him for a while. That's a big um, prospect. It's not like he's been flying under the radar or anything, but the win in Orléans was really good in my opinion, especially the wins over Shrikand and uh, Vitisan. He was too focused getting back there. <laughs> Toma Popov. That's a good smash. Serve is over. 4 2. Lee Dong Kyung, Three, four. now playing as um, an independent player, not a member of the um, Korean national team anymore. Oh. Good 
Tech. Serve, serve. Five, three. Reserve four five. Nice cross drop shot from uh, Toma Popov there to Six, put some four. variation in his um, attack. That's really important because Lee Dong Kyung is uh, a player that normally has a really, really strong um, defense. It's a really solid uh, basic game, does uh, the Korean. lethal if the lift is a little bit uh, too short is uh, Toma Popov excellent follow up nine four to be mopped. Over there. That's a good one. Thank That's you. the rally from before. Opens up the court with that cross uh, drop shot. Very, very steep. And four consecutive points for Popov here after being up 5-4, now 9-4. Well played. Good retrieval Ten, by um, the four. Frenchman. He's not going to uh, the Olympics. Probably not. Um, it's still uh, Brice Levades, who is the uh, top Frenchman in um, the world rankings. Excellent coverage of um, the front court there by Toma Popov. We extend the uh, streak to six points and takes a seven point lead here at the uh, mid game interval.
толкова повече дигаш. Спокойно, от задна линия, като е неудобно, позиционира като правата и готов веднага. Оп и веднага готов. Оп и веднага готов. Това. От пет секунди види, като е далеч, може да играеш. Корт 1, 20 секунди. Корт 1, 20 секунди. expect a rather positive um, coaching from uh, Popov Senior there. No coaching on uh, the Korean side. Lee Dong Kyun has to uh, take care of it himself. 11-4. Play. Oh. I think one of the uh, important things for Lee is to try and make this first game as um, tough as possible. Extend the rallies, but Whoa! he's really got difficulties um, defending. Four. Great interception by uh, the tall man there, 196. That's, that's a lot for a men's singles player, so... Perhaps that's why um, it's a little bit unusual for Lee Dong Kyung that he's got to play his uh, lifts with a little bit extra height. Playing on line. 13 4. This is the kind of rallies that um, Lee is looking for. Well, he lost it, but um, he's pretty much, much out of this first game Four anyway. Problem for Lee is that, that um, he's not that dangerous himself, so so he's got trouble. As it looks at the moment, scoring points. That means that um, it eases the pressure on um, Troma Popov. That's well placed, though. Save is over. Five fourteen. Service over. Fifteen five. Oh. That's really efficient. Five. The uh, drop shot to the uh, forehand of Lee Dong Kyung. So 
Zero, zero for six sixteen. Yeah. First time that um, Lee Dong Kyung is playing here in uh, Spain Masters, whilst uh, Tomo Puho played all the previous three editions, all of them staged in uh, Barcelona. Never made it past the uh, second round until this year. Oh, you, you read it well there, Lee Dong Kyun, but um, good follow up. Reserve 17 6. Seven seventeen. Let's go long. <laughs> challenges called out. It's, uh... I don't know what kind of challenge that is, whether that's a tactical challenge or what. I mean, it's clearly long. And challenge he's clearly not going to win this game. One challenge remaining. And so he clearly needs his opponent to get very tired if he's to um, get back in this match, I think. Play. So why give him that little break? I don't understand it. Well placed. Lovely placement. You can see a little bit of green between the shuttle and the line. Place the shot so he gives himself a little bit of margin for error. It's gone wide. So. 20 game point. Totally dominant in this uh, first game here, Thomas Junior Popov. Now he's got 13 game points. And he takes the first of it. Okay. First game won by Tomas Junior Popov, 21-7. 21-7 after 18 minutes of play. As uh, umpire Bert von Hornbeck uh, confirmed here. Opening up the court with a clear and then very, very nice uh, steep smash cross. Excellent execution by uh, Toma Popov.
Chord one, 20 seconds. Chord one, 20 seconds. Second game. So we're ready for the second game. Play. Here in uh, Carolina Marine Sports Palace. Let's see what um, Lee Dong Kyung can uh, come up with here. He definitely needs to take a bit more control of um, the rallies. Drop shot to the forehand. One love. We've seen it a couple of times. Here it comes. Over one all. From uh, Popov. Two, one. He's won five tournaments in his career, Lee Dong Kyung. Three of them were Korean Masters or equal back in 12, 14, and 15. And Zero Last bro. tournament, Mexico City Grand Two. Prix in oh. 2015. Then he was a member in 2014 of the Korean team who won the Asian Games gold medal on uh, home soil. So he's an experienced player. And I think he needs to draw on oh. all of his experience to uh, Three. Two. get back here against uh, Toma Popov. Simply too little to be afraid of if you're Toma Popov. Oh. Good follow up there. Service over. Four, three. Excellent. Really, really good um, net game. Closing down the net is he, um, the tall Frenchman. Four Stays four. there, looking for the chance. You've got to be able to do that when you're an attacking player. Got to win the net.
five, four. He's trying. Lee Dong Kyun, he's really trying. That um, shot there from Lee lacked a bit of quality, though, so it was easy for Popov to uh, play back at him. Judgment by uh, Tomo Popov and another challenge from uh, Lee Dong Kyung. Sitting in quite a good position over that right sideline there, and um, I don't think he will be successful in this challenge either. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Seven, four. Late. This is the one he should have killed. Lee. Oi, what a save. Excellent defense. That one's gone long. And yeah, it, it's a good rally for, for Lee Dong Kyung because, uh, I mean, it's a tough rally, but it also shows the problems he played so brilliantly in the beginning of the rally. Excellent defense, then got a chance to score the point himself. Couldn't do it. So it's oh. definitely going to be a question of um, stamina with this man here, but. Um, has he worked so much Service over. that um, Five, eight. at some point it gets less dangerous and uh, more error prone in this second game? That is the question.
playing a little bit better rallies now. Zero, zero, Lee Dong Kyun. Six, nine. And just going some point here. left the challenge sorry sorry for well, didn't challenge six. Lee Dong Kyun Bert van Hornbeck asked him he made a, a gesture with his right hand that could look as if he was challenging let's have a look there no that was a, would have been a total waste Popov with the upper hand six here. Interval. It's one game up and 11 6 ahead here in the second game as the two players head to the mid game interval. Seconds scored one twenty seconds. Eleven six. Tomo Popov in the driver's seat here in this men's single match semi-final. Lee Dong Kyun asked to dig deep and uh, find some solutions as to uh, how he can unsettle the uh, tall Frenchman. Difficult. In the meantime, I can tell you that um, we've found the opponent for the winner of this match. That is going to be a little surprising, perhaps. Chico Dwi Madoyo, who in an all Indonesian affair defeated top seed uh, Shisar Rostavito in um, straight games. Uh, sorry for uh, Chico Adoya. And of course, he must be happy to reach the final, but he must also be a little bit um, unraveled by seeing Toma Junior Popov on the way to the final. And what's this? Some kind of football warm up. 
And the reason for that is that uh, Toma Popov has been in 10 finals as a senior. And he's won all 10. That's an amazing record, in my opinion. scoring has uh, Lee Dong Kyung has landed in Lee Dong Kyung challenges for the challenge in. and uh, I think actually this challenge might have a little chance I tend to go with the uh, linesman but um, Uh, this one was closer, but it was still long. Correction out. Oh, it was a good challenge. It was out. I beg your pardon. Serve is over. players had um, talked to Lee Dong Kyun out on uh, the tour a year ago, a couple of years ago must have been now or so and told them about the Korean Late. training regime and uh, that was um, a rather tough one I can tell you So one of the chances here for Lee could be that um, Tomo Popov gets a little bit too confident, Full. too uh, Nine, complacent, 14. and feels that he's got um, the game under control, perhaps saving a little bit of energy for. The men's doubles, I don't think that would be the case, though. I think he goes all out here and then sees what's left for, for the men's doubles. I think the main singles is the uh, clear priority. No! What a smash there. So yes. Fifteen, nine. Drew it a little bit into nine. the uh, middle of the court. That uh, backhand recovery shot there, Popov, and um, that's a really, really nice shot in my opinion. Putting some variation on oh, yeah. That type of shot is absolutely crucial. He was 
just looking for the chance again. Excellent play. I think he's really playing well. 17-9. The Frenchman here in... Uh, firmly on his way to the men's singles final. And there's something really peculiar happens in this match. And uh, Lee Dong Kyun transforms himself to a wonderful attacking player. With feet as light as uh, a butterfly. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Toma Popov, three points away from uh, his 11th career final in men's singles. He's having fun. He's having fun, Tomo Popov. He's enjoying himself on court. 19-9. Thank you. One of the best feelings you can have on court, the feeling that your opponent or your opponents, if you're a doubles player, cannot hurt you. That is just such a wonderful feeling. And the problem with it is that it can disappear in a split second. This is the type of matches where after it's over, you basically want to approach your opponent and ask him if he wants to play another game. 10, 90. <laughs> challenges called in. They're having a little chat. Lee Dong Kyun and uh, Bert van Horenbeck. Horenbeck said he was in, asking Lee if he wanted to challenge. He said yes. And it was indeed in. Successful. And that means no that challenges uh, remaining. 10 match point opportunities has arrived for Toma Junior Popov. Yeah. Totally dominant throughout. Uh, the entire match. <laughs> Lee didn't have the um, defense to withstand the attack of the Frenchman. Or the weapons to uh, challenge him. First time I'm asking. Tomo Junior Popov has won. The first of uh, the two semi-finals he's going to play today. Junior Popo, 21 7, 21 10. And in the fashion that um, he wanted to win, rather quick, not without effort, but um, with control. So there's uh, power and stamina left for double. Later on with uh, kid brother Crystal, as we saw the uh, final rally of the match, here's confirmation of the score, 21-7, 21-10, after 43 minutes of play.